Hello, I'd like to talk to you. My name is Gary Michael Zanis Jr. I was born in Seattle, Washington in 1965, of January the 12th. My father's bipolar, my mother's schizophrenic, she actually believes she's Anastasia, she lives on the streets of Eugene, Oregon. My father left my mother in 1969, and we moved down to Oregon. Me and my brother. In 1970, January 18, 1970, my youngest brother was born. My mother believed in using hot wheel tracks, extension cords, paddles, sticks of all sorts, whatever to leave a welt. In 1970, I started kindergarten. I guess this was actually the first signs of my bipolar disorder. I was constantly talking, and I was constantly doing little things, getting sent to the principal's office. You know, as a kindergartner, of course. And uh, they eventually started tying me to my chair because I was so active. And oftentimes I'd get tape over the mouth. And by 74, I had been kicked out of Thurston Elementary, Alonda Elementary. Basically, they were having me go to special schools because they were the only ones that would touch me. very good teacher by the name of Doug Cheney actually taught me how to read mud. Because I was so far behind by the time I was nine, I didn't know how to read and write. He had caught me up within a year. I went to foster care in 74 and saw about a dozen homes. I was split off from my brothers because I was a bad influence. 77 I was given over to my father. I'd already seen a dozen foster homes. I lived with him for nine months. And there was a saying, I went to live with him, I was 120 pounds. When they got me out in nine months, I was 98 pounds. I was black and blue. I was scabbed. My head was shaving because I missed a school bus. How did they get me out? Basically, it took three caseworkers. One of them is now a very, very high ranking official in Olympia right now. I ain't going to give any names to her, but everybody gets to see her cry when as voters turn her taxes down. Okay. There was a man investigator that was sent out after her. He buddied up to my father. He didn't even do his job. You can see that was scabbed and stuff. The third one had the brains to approach me in school, telling me it would be okay. So I told him the truth, I was being abused. Well, I was left there that weekend. And I was beaten so badly because my dad actually thought that I was being turning him in. So I went back to the Alp went back to Oregon. And uh Stayed with the Hazes for about a month. Then on January 11th, 1978, 
I moved to the Alberta Career Center in Portland. My stress was so bad I was puking every other night. They chalked it up to stress due to my history. Well, I started having nightmares about then about the abuse my father put me through. And this went on for years and years. And since it went on for years, no one knew it until in my 30s that I was actually having PTSD. I already had one suicide attempt when I was 15 years old. I tried to run a bike out in front of a car. But I had suffered from depression long before that. My moods go up, my moods go down. I crash hard when they go down. I get involved in a million and one projects when they're up. I take off more than I can chew. In 2002, they actually decided to retire me because it was getting so bad. Now I'm on Social Security Disability. Been there since 2002, this is 2011 now. So basically, that sums up my life. I hope you don't judge me too hard. Thank you.